guys is Bobby Organic, so uh, I'm just about to pull all of the garden out. Um, just it's just a bit of a kiver with all these uh, cabbage moths. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna re-switch the thing. Gonna be planting loads of seeds today, which I'll put on the uh, next video. Um, gonna be pulling all the runners down. So just wanted to give you guys a quick view of the garden before that's all done, really. Um, yeah, it looks like we've been having a bit of trouble with these radish as well. So I'm going to take a little bit of an inspection into there because they don't seem to be forming. Uh, they are different varieties, but even these over here, and I've spaced these out. So uh, these are getting quite big. Also, the cabbage moth seem to love these, the, the actual caterpillars. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a real good look at the garden in a bit and I'll get back to you guys uh, once it's all down. So take a look anyway. Two months. Five crops harvested. Pretty cool. Right, anyways, guys, I'll be back shortly. Well, in a couple of hours when I've done it all. Peace. All right guys, so we're back and uh, I've ripped out most of the runner beans. Uh, I've done most of this bed as well. I've just left some of this spinach and uh, I think this is kale. Um, not too sure, need to go back and have a look. And just some of this red rosa lettuce. Uh, gonna plant all in this bed, uh, probably spinach and kale. Over here, this soil needs to be uh, added to. So I'm just waiting on some rock dust and uh, worm castings. So I'll show that in my next video. As you can see, the quality of the two soils are completely different. This one has a lot of perlite in it. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, which is good and not so good, but to me, you know, I like the uh, like the uh, compost better. Nice organic compost filled with uh, nice bits. Um, so yeah, um, that's what I've done so far. Uh, actually, I can show you guys some of these grapes. Now that we've got down, pulled the vine back up. So there's a few on there, not amazing. This is the raspberry bush. Hasn't got any fruits on it, but I'm glad as hell that it's uh, grown. Again, over here, these grapevines are really cool. I actually think some of these cucumber vines have uh, grown up there as well. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, so when I go to plant, I will uh, come back and uh, show you what I've popped in or what I'm gonna pop in. So, got quite a bit to do still. Quite a haul of stuff to get rid of as well. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, back in a bit guys. Peace. All right guys, it's uh, Bobby Organics and uh, yeah, we're back. And uh, I'm gonna be planting uh, some uh, Siberian kale in this section. So I've popped all the seeds in the little rows that I've dug out. I'm not sure if you can see those on the camera. Um, yeah, the seeds are in anyway. Planted quite a few in there. I like to sow directly into the ground. I am going to cover these as well. Um, this company's really good, really high germination rate, as you can see. Uh, they're all organic as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to uh, fill the rows over, uh, give it a little bit of a watering in, and then I'm going to uh, do the rest of the beds. So I'll get back to you when I planted the rest, so uh, I know what I've actually planted. Probably going to get some labels this time as well, just to keep her uh, better. Uh, eye on things but uh, yeah so it's as easy as that guys I'm just going to fill that over with soil give it a water in and uh, there you go they'll be up in a week or two anyways guys I'll be back when I've done the rest peace all right guys so yeah um, I've just planted the winter spinach here you can see those seeds there are a bit better looking and I've done that all the way around just random uh, in between all this spinach and kale and uh, Lola Rosa lettuce so I've done that all the way up to the pepper plant there. So that's winter spinach on that one. I'm just gonna cover those up and um, yeah, give them a watering in as well. So it's not that hard to plant directly into the ground, guys. I like doing it. When you've got good seeds, it's fine. As long as you cover it up and keep a good eye on it. Um, so yeah, that's a three, three foot done. Three square feet. Um, so yeah, again, I'll be back once I've done the rest. Peace. 
All right, guys, so, uh, yeah, in this little patch here, we got the uh, Bloomsdale spinach. So, once again, just going to cover that up, water the bed in. Going to put a last bit of uh, kale there, and that'll be it for that bed. And uh, that's it, guys. So, just a little reminder for myself. That's the uh, Bloomsdale spinach. Peace. All right, guys, uh, yeah, so I've planted everything in the garden now. Uh, in this spot, we've got the red Russian kale, so that's the last of that. That's that whole bed uh, planted in now, so I'm just going to water the whole bed. Um, and then I'm going to put those covers over the top and uh, just let it get on with its thing, guys. Hopefully it's, we have a nice few warm days or whatever, help with the germination. And uh, I'll get back to you guys soon with an update. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. Alright guys, so yeah, um, forgot to mention, everything's planted in now, and uh, I've got everything covered with these uh, nets. These are real good, real cheap, sun can still get through, pretty see-through. Um, and that should stop those horrible uh, cabbage moths from eating my kale. I did put out all of the other kale guys, because um, I could see some little tiny uh, caterpillars again, and I've just replanted everything, it's not worth the hassle for a couple of pence to keep those old kale so all the bugs are gone everything's new let's see if we can uh, do round two with uh, no caterpillars anyways guys I'll be back soon peace